everybody another video here for you today this is by request i have looked into this before so when i read this i wasn't real familiar with the name of the place but once i saw it i knew exactly what it was about but this really goes along with some of my recent videos dam construction the keevan dam down here in turkey built and this place flooded here is all that is left of an ancient tepee called norsen tepee Right down here, I believe this is all that is left of it, sticking out of the water here today. The dam was finished in 1974. Archaeologists came in here from 1968 through the time, really, they couldn't work anymore. Klaus Schmidt was one of the people involved, the guy who did the archaeological research at Gobekli Tepe. Right here, lost today under the waters. Here's a look at this mysterious mound, or tell, or tepe. I have covered about 12 to 15 of these in ancient Turkey and around the region. This one appears very unique and a little mysterious, maybe a lot mysterious. You know, these structures on top here, I say this covered about 40 different periods of history. The layering here, metallurgy, the Bronze Age, other things are talked about at this site. Here's a black and white pic, an old pic of the place before it was lost under the waters here. A lot of archaeological work went on in the region between 1968 and 1974. And that's good. At least we have some record of what was found here. The late Klaus Schmidt, who worked on Gobekli Tepe, found artifacts here that suggested this one back well into the Neolithic times, maybe seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 years. I don't think that was really determined exactly. But uh, stone axes, what are described as drill cores, and I couldn't find any pics of those drill cores, mace heads, and other things. That suggested the history here went way back in time. There seems to be a pretty extensive period from the Chalcolithic period, which goes maybe from 5,500 years ago to about 4,300 years ago. That is also known as the Copper Age. Period of time here where they were producing metals here pretty extensively at this site it seems another website it says the site is located 26 kilometers southeast of elizig the mound has become an island in the reservoir of the keban dam here after 1975 and is vanishing slowly it says the conical 150 by 130 meter mound with a height of 35 meters used to be one of the larger mounds of the altanova region used to cover an area of 500 by 300 meters together with its slopes. The region is a watery and fertile plain framed by the Mastar and the Bingo Mountains. Now, there was many different periods of history, many artifacts found here, going all the way back into the Neolithic time period, stone axes, drill cores. There was other things found here, antler tools, clay molds, clay brushes, stuff that detailed metalworking, Metalworking tools like molds represent an important contribution for studies dealing with the archaeological aspect of metalworking technologies, but those were kind of limited due to the time constraints put on the work done here. But there was other things found here, bread stamps, other things, cooking materials. There was a few uh, graves found here from the Iron Age. Pretty fascinating aspects of history going through many different periods. Here's a site in winter. Seems copper was produced here for a very long time. Metallurgy was a very important thing here in the later occupations of the site. And this went all the way through the Bronze Age and the Iron Age. Now, there's just not a lot on the site. In fact, there isn't even a Wikipedia page on the site. There is one done in German, probably because the German archaeological research team led by Harold Hopman is the one who did the research here. But they said mother goddess figurines were found here, I assuming, I'm assuming someone like this one. This one was found in the nearby Anatolia region. This place seemed to be a treasure trove for archaeologists. Mysterious ruins. You don't see a tell or tepe with structure on top of it very often. Around 3,000 years ago or so, this place was destroyed totally by fire and abandoned. Why did that happen? Well... Ancient history is nothing but a mystery, most of it. The Urartian period was the last phase here. Apparently, these are the remains of the Tell sticking up out of the lake here. Lost history, dam construction. We've lost a lot of places. 
but thank goodness they were looked into a little bit here back about 50 years ago. That is another video coming from Turkey, Lost History, Dam Construction, Archaeological Reports done here 50 years ago, give us some clue what was going on here. Mysterious pics, that is for sure. The lost History, there's a whole region of historical sites in this area. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very safe day.